heard about palm reading, there is a trend called rumpology. Have you heard of that? You have your bottom read. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I fancy that. Might do that tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Foot reading is also a big among celebrities, a big thing. Yeah, so here to reveal exactly what our feet say about us is international foot reader people, Jane Sheehan. <laughs> choose this career path, Jane? I mean, how does anyone end up being an international foot reader? Well, it was my careers advisor at school recommended it. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a, a friend of mine, Claudine, fancied having reflexology. I'd never heard of it. Yeah. I went along for a treatment with her, was fascinated by what they were saying about me, but I had a huge emotional reaction, and I'm thinking, what's all this about? So I studied it, and at the end of my course, all my case studies had huge emotional reactions and I wanted to know what is the connection between the feet and the emotions. What? So that took me on a journey and ended up that here I am now. Uh, I mean, Linda, you, uh, Linda, you're a bit of a convert, aren't you? Can't I you? am, yeah, because I went for reflexology and they were doing my feet and that, and all of a sudden they said, I can't find your gallbladder anywhere. And I'd had my <laughs> gallbladder removed, so yeah. that was the first thing. And they also told me by my feet um, that my pancreas was inflamed, found out later on that I had pancreatitis. And they also said I had a cyst on my ovary, and that was all from my feet. And they were feet. spot on with everything. Wow. Yeah. I know, it was well, amazing. listen, you're going to romp through our feet. Jean, you've already had a, a little look at them uh, in secret completely, so you didn't know which one of us it was. So foot number one, um, I have to say, I don't know whether you worked it out, Jane, it was me. Oh, right. Um, right. So I, I've got a wee bit of a fungal infection on one of them, so I do apologise for that. <laughs> um, <laughs> but what did the other one say about me? <laughs> well, I thought I'd tell you three things. I've picked three okay. of the interesting things. So you had um, peeling on... Oh, oh that's oh, horrible! Oh, no. And then on the same. So, oh, sorry. so what it says is in the past you had quite a lot going on emotionally and you had enough, you thought, fresh start, new beginning across the board. Currently, most of it's gone, but currently it's the way you're thinking about a private life situation impacting on your emotions. You think you've dealt with it and it keeps coming up to be dealt with again. So that's the, the main thing that's showing on the left foot. Now, uh, also, there's peeling down the instep that's saying in the past you had a lack of support and it impacted working life and private life. That's moved on. Things are a lot better now. And also, I thought I'd round off with something great about you. So you're very independent. You're strong in resources. You find it hard to ask for help because you think you can do it better yourself. Oh, no. anyway. well, I think I need a chiropodist about <laughs> ask for help. Yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm aware that we are really short of time. So the one big thing from the each, golden the, the golden thing from the golden foot, and then one Which thing. Which one is she? Number two. Oh, number two. Golden foot is number okay. two. Oh no, golden foot is. Um, you're number four, actually. Stacey is okay. number two. Oh. Uh, number four, That's uh, you, you have food. natural leadership qualities, and if you're not in a leadership role, you'll become bossy. That's your elongated <laughs> second toe. Um, and also, um, you're very sensitive emotionally. You don't just hear what's said, you hear what's not said, and you're listening behind the lines, and you pick up on more than people would want you to. Oh. Um, and also, we had hard skin on the outside edge of the ball of the foot, which says you've got very high self-esteem, but you've had to build a wall to stop people from picking away at it. Right, so okay. it's like a, a defense mechanism. Right, let's quickly go on to foot number two, which is Stacy, and then we've got to get Linda in. Oh, Stacy, Did you have to wade through the Stacey, hair? the first thing, the first thing I thought of when I saw your feet was you want more love and affection. Oh. And you oh. I bet you yourself some new knickers at that. <laughs> colours giving you away it shows you what you want more of at the moment Aww. you've got a gap between big toe and second toe on your right foot but not on your left so that says in the past you had delayed reactions to things logic and emotion working separately but now you're able to make snap decisions and stick to them in a way you couldn't have done in the past. Wow. Oh, so that's a nice right, quick date. bit from Linda then okay. foot number three oh, foot number gold. three okay um, 
on your fourth toe you had a, a big lump on the right foot but not the left foot. Would so that, that be like a bunion or something? <laughs> <laughs> no, someone else had bunions, and that means bending over backwards. Oh, no, it? Yours was about, in the past to do with your uh, private life, you needed to speak out, and you weren't saying it, and the words were building up, building up, building up. Oh, it's your neck. It's now, neck again. It's your it's your <laughs> now you've moved on from that situation, but it's still showing on your past foot, so that indicates that you regret not saying anything, so you, you often think back and say... Wow, a lot to digest. Jane, I'm sorry to rush you, because that's really fascinating. That is it for today, but we have got an action packed lineup for you next week. We're going to be joined by Piers Morgan, Paul Gascoigne, and Diva Tony Braxton. So we will see you at 12 30 on Monday. Have a great weekend.